Good morning, y'all. This is Troy at Chicka Wolf Ranch. Uh, it's Saturday morning, and I am doing the chores for uh, Wendy this morning and letting everybody out. And I go come out to the chicken coop, and there's a problem. Like I said, there was a problem in the chicken coop. Our daughter hatched, hatched out a couple uh, chickens underneath the duck uh, a few months ago. And uh, we raised those chickens in the barn uh, to keep them safe. And they turned out to be roosters. And so a couple nights ago, we, t we turned out the chickens into the chicken coop here. And this morning, I'll show you what I found. All right, now I will warn you, if you're a little squeamish, you probably shouldn't watch this part. Um, and if you're not okay with handling death, then um, you probably shouldn't watch either. But this is part of the realities of uh, homesteading and farming. And so this is uh, what we have. So this was our little black rooster. As you can see, <clears throat> it looks like he's been dead for about, a, I don't know, three or four hours. And all of you homesteaders out there will know exactly what happened. If you can tell by his head here, it's real slimy and it's all wet and it's just on his head. That's a snake. That's a rat snake, and those are the snakes that we have been having a big problem with this year here on the farm. Well, unfortunately, that rooster didn't make it, and I'm a little fearful for the, the other rooster that we have in there. Um, you know, the, the, reason, uh, the reason he probably, uh, the snake got him, is because they're not roosting up on the roost yet. Um, the hens in the coop there are probably not letting them up. They're not part of the flock yet. And so they're kind of keeping them where they belong, which is down on the ground, I guess. And uh, so unfortunately the snake probably got them early this morning. And well, that's one of the reasons that we don't allow the big rat snakes on our property and, and I know that uh, some people don't mind have snakes on the property but when uh, you have this kind of stuff happening um, it's really a, a big wasted effort to raise up a chicken or a rooster for two months two to three months and then just have it gone and the snake didn't even eat it. He just killed it. He couldn't get it down. He, his eyeballs got too big for his his mouth. So I know uh, it's funny to say that we don't allow snakes on the property, but obviously they get on here. And uh, but we're not going to allow them to have an easy meal um, of our animals. So we'll just keep relocating them as we get them and uh yeah that's it well thanks for watching chicka wolf ranch and just to let you know that uh things are real here on the homestead and it's just part of one of the the real things you have to deal with all right well thanks and we'll see you again next time on chicka wolf ranch